first off is the drawing. Serena has done for us to show us what she would like on the ceiling. Now we've got a cornice going all the way around here. It comes into the bay, but the coving that we're gonna do is actually finishing on the returns here because of, we've obviously got blinds going in. We've then got this detailing going all the way around like this into a central ceiling rose here. And all of this will interweave and all have all of these different mitres going on here, which is gonna be absolutely beautiful when it's all finished. And the main thing is what you have to do is set it all out on the ceiling, which we've done here now. It's loads of different joins and degrees of angles going on here. Uh, it's quite important to have the right tools. So the right tools are skeleton gun. You want the right adhesive. So this is Decofix Power. This is actually a really ultra strong polymer based insulation adhesive, as it says on the tube. We're using this to adhere to the back of this polystyrene coving because this isn't a plaster coving, it's a polystyrene coving. And what I actually do is it's really key to set the tube up really well. I always cut these little nodules off. This is the nodule that I've actually cut off. And then I put a small angle on the end of the tube so it applies beautifully and smoothly. So you need skeleton, standing knife. You obviously need your adhesive. We've got a chop saw here. We've then also then got the extraction and we've then got a cordless transformer and then obviously music, we need music uh, when we're doing this. Then the other thing is a laser level because this is, makes life so much easier. So this laser level here at the moment is a Sibilla 300. So what we can do with that, we can actually then give ourselves a horizontal or you can change the setting on it, it'll do a vertical line, but that line there is beautifully in level. What I'll do now is I'll find out what the height of the coving is. So if you can imagine from that position there, and it actually reads 75 mil. So what I'll actually do is I'll come down from the ceiling at that point there, measure down 75 mil, and then I'll then set my laser to that point. But I won't say that's set in stone, because what I'll then do is transfer over to here and see what this is like, because even though this is a new, brand new ceiling, sometimes there is slight differences by a couple of mil. So it's really important that once you've got it set, we get it as level as we can, and you might have to just drop it down here in a couple of mil, just to allow it to then run round evenly all the way around. That laser line, just on that pencil line, which is absolutely perfect. But then when you go over here, after this point, the laser line is actually a couple of mil off this line. So that tells me this ceiling is just running out slightly. So I need to make sure I drop my laser line down to this point and what will happen is that as i run that in it means that the cover will literally be a couple of mil difference in height on that top bit there which is absolutely fine if it was like kind of 10 15 mil i'd get a little bit worried and then i'd have to start bonding the ceiling to bring all the coving correct but at that point there and then you can see on the transfer line here it's the same distance we're a couple of mil out so it's really important that you do this process and just double check the whole ceiling all the way around because if you don't then you could up in trouble when you're then putting all of your coving around you need to make sure that you don't start having to cut the top of the coving because of the ceiling always make sure you go to your lowest point so that's the point i'm going to go to See any questions about how we set this out just put them down in the box below and then obviously we can move from there cheers
what we've done here, we've put this amazing cornice detail going around the room. We've then fitted the ceiling rows up above and to this where the light then hangs through and going through the central point of the room. On from that, what we've then done is this very intricate beading detail that then cascades all the way around the room. You've then got other beads that meet together and create complex mitres and scribes. And what we've done, as we've marked it all out, we've then been fitting each individual bead bit by bit by bit. It then goes into the bay window going all the way around. It took us about two and a half days to just to do this ceiling to make sure all the mitres were lovely and crisp and sharp. At the end of the day, it's really key when it comes down to the decorator. He's got nothing to fill. All he's got to do is just touch it with his magic paintbrush and corking tube and that's it, it's away. Mm -hmm.